Hi, welcome to Public Connect Workshop. In this video, we will integrate Shopify to Gmail using Public Connect. Basically, the idea is we are going to send automatic emails to customer via Gmail for new paid Shopify orders. But the problem is there is no flow of data between Shopify and Gmail. In such cases, we need to bring a third app to integrate them both. In this video, we will use Public Connect to integrate Shopify to Gmail. It is an easy two-step process. Let me show you how it's done. First of all, you have to visit the website of Public Connect. This is the website of Public Connect. Here, click on Sign In. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Public Connect. Bring your attention to the Connect part. Here, click on Access Now. In the top right, you will find Create New Workflow. Click it. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is demanding to enter a name. I am going to give it as Shopify to Gmail. Of course, you can add any name according to your own discretion. Then click on Save. OK, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the Trigger window. In the Choose app, change it from Webhook to Shopify. In the choose method, we have to change it from new cart to new order. Basically, the idea is whenever a new order is filled by the customer, there will be a trigger. Now, go to your Shopify store. Here in the left bottom, you will find settings. Click on settings. Here in the middle, you will find notifications. Click on notifications. Okay, so this is the notifications page. Scroll down and you will find webhooks. Click on create webhook. So a dialog box has appeared in front of you. In the event, you have to change it from cart creation to order creation. The format will remain same as JSON. Now comes the most important part, the URL. To get the URL, you have to go back to Public Connect. Here you will find the webhook URL. Just copy it and paste it here. The webhook API version will remain same and then click on save webhook. OK, it's showing that the webhook has been saved successfully. So basically, Public Connect has been integrated to Shopify. Now we are going to test whether the data can be captured by Public Connect. To do that, let's go back to Public Connect and click on capture webhook response. OK, it's, a, it's a waiting for the webhook response. So let's go back to Shopify store and click on and click on catalog. I am going to purchase this product. Click on buy it now. OK, so this is the checkout. I am going to enter dummy details of a customer. So these are the dummy details. I have just used the autofill feature. Then click on continue to shipping. Click on continue to payment. OK, so in the credit card details, I am going to enter bogus credit card details. Card number one. Pay now. So the person called as Aaron has purchased this product. So let's see whether Public Connect has captured this data or not. Let's go back to Public Connect. Yes, the data has been captured. The email, this is the email of the dummy customer. Then we have the card details. Then this is the address. This is the name of the dummy customer. This is the address. This is the city where he resides and this is the zip code. So basically Public Connect has captured all the data of the customer from Shopify. Now let's sync this data to Gmail. To do that, let's click on this plus button. So when you click on this plus button, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the action window. In the choose app, change it to Gmail. Gmail. In the choose method, we have to keep it as send an email. Then click on connect with Gmail. Okay, in the previous credential, we have select your credentials. We have to keep it as new credentials. The authorized application, just click on connect. Okay, so it's giving me a set of accounts. I'm going with this account. This is my account. Click on allow to give it access. 
okay it's showing that the authorization is successful click on okay so now that the authorization is successful it is giving me a set of blanks so basically we are going to create a letter okay so this is the blanks are here for you to create a letter format in the recipient name of course we have to type the customer's name in the recipient email address of course we have to type or put in the customer email address in from name you have to type your name you are the seller from email again your email address now coming to the email subject for email subject i am going with a short warm word thank you for purchase now in the email message we are going to type a message so it would be something like thanks for purchase mr putting in the name of the customer this product entering the product that is delivered soon to your address putting in some address okay that's enough visit our store then click on save and send test request okay the api response is showing that the message has been sent so let's check the customer's email account whether the mail has arrived or not yes the message has arrived the email has arrived this is thank you for the purchase okay that's the subject and this is the matter of the message this is the seller's address seller's name okay and it's showing me thanks for the purchase mr aaron that is the customer's name and this is the product name and of course the residence of the customer the presence of this message in customer's account shows that shopify has been successfully integrated with gmail so anytime a new customer adds a product to his cart there will be a confirmation message or a thank you message in his email account so for your convenience let's check it one more time if the system is working or not so go back to public connect save this okay save this workflow to okay so let's go back to the online store the shopify store catalog this time we are going to buy this product click on buy it now okay we are going to enter another set of dummy details so this again i am going to auto fill it so we are creating another checkout of our dummy customer okay his uh, email address is edisnashak the first name is reena and the last name is manuel then click on continue to shipping then click on continue to payment the card details one print this wait pay click on pay now so as you can see a person called as reena has successfully purchased this product gara t-shirt so this is the contact information and this is the customer's email address it is nashak265 at the rate gmail.com so let's see in this email address whether the customer has received a confirmation message or a thank you message okay so let's go to this email address it is nashak this is the email address of the customer 
to Gmail. Yes, we have found the email. Okay, thanks for the purchase, Mr. Rena. This is the customer's name. The product that has been purchased called as Gara T-shirt. The residence of the customer. Okay, so from next time, any new purchase is made by a customer. His email address will show a confirmation message or a thank you message. Thanks.